Okay, breaking news. So <laughs> employment numbers were out, out this thing and the uh, continuing claims uh, dropped to below 2 million, which Yay. is good. Yep. And the initial claims have also dropped uh, quite substantially. It's like uh, under two, 200,000, like 190,000. So mm-hmm. it's, it's awesome news, some news as well. Yep. Um, Still is so an I issue, went, though. People trying to to uh, not find jobs, but to find people to work. I'm just, I'm amazed at, you know, the quality of service that's that's just, you know, gone downhill wherever you go, restaurants. Well, so, so just last night we had the, the subgroup meeting thing and I had pizza ordered from Papa John's. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, where is this thing? It was 15 minutes late. And then some person comes around the corner, you get a DoorDash? I was like, no. And they're like, well, it's pizza. And I was like, yeah, sure. Papa John's doesn't have enough drivers, so they're outsourcing oh, their wow. drivers first to Dash and other places because they can't get can't get people. I saw signs where they're you know, ten dollar pay plus you know mileage plus all the like all these other different perks. Wow, I might Just, start doing that. I know I'm going to I'm going <laughs> to drive after I get done here. Well, you know the other thing that makes me a little nervous is, uh, you know you know what's going to happen. I, I think a lot of the people that kind of lost their job over the COVID fiasco, never went back to work because they started their own businesses. You know, a lot of new businesses have started. Well, we all know what it's like to have your own business and it's not easy. Mm -hmm. And even when you do everything you can to make it work, 70%, 70% of us year are going to collapse. Yeah. And and we've got a year coming up. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's going to happen when we've got. We were talking last night and, you know, someone, said this now i don't know how true it is but you know that all these people are working for, or doing their own business right under the ta- table mm-hmm. and not you know so basically their <clears throat> their net income is up much higher than it was um previously so they've been enjoying that but it took to what to what extent yeah at some point you know the, you know we already know the government's trying to Catch zero up. in yeah. you know on, on maybe, maybe this is why they wanted why they wanted to have all your bank accounts of six hundred dollars or that's more. a great point bill mm-hmm. that's that's actually a great point yeah because they probably figured a lot of this was happening yeah so, you know it's that whole you know you know show me yours but i'm not going to show you mine yeah they, but then what they want to see everything you're doing that's but... <laughs> right. and then what's that going to do to the real estate market market so how mm-hmm. is that gonna well here's uh that? now this is looking backward um but we'll. Oh, it's just so, uh, storageunits.com <laughs> did a survey in November and they surveyed 1,250 people. And I don't know how you get a, a chunk of America with, with 1,250 people. people, yeah. But they said that they wanted to know how their living arrangements changed during COVID. Mm-hmm. And they came to the conclusion that 67% of Americans had relocated. I think that's high. Two thirds yeah. of all, Amer- all Americans relocated. They either, yeah, they either moved to a skewed, bigger yeah. house, moved to a smaller house, or moved somewhere else. So relocated just means a move, not not necessarily a geographic right. move. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would have assumed that thought. So if you state. were wondering why housing prices kept going up, is because there were so, so many people paying. <laughs> And so few out there uh, to buy, yeah. Because you had all these people relocating. Now it doesn't mean that they um, purchased a home; they could have just been renting too. But uh, are you seeing a drop in that? Uh, drop in what? People buying houses. No, there's still there's still pet people. Uh, buying. There's plenty of people buying houses and houses, if, but the multiple offers if they're available. is is lower, I think. But well, we'll it's see. also winter and. It doesn't happen as often. It's yeah. typically a time that slows down. Yeah, no, last no, winter it didn't no, happen. But. I mean, November and December are typically, you know, COVID, you know, changed some things yeah. last year. But yeah, it was atypical. This, typical. this year, is, year is definitely slow down is very typical. Yeah. I mean, no, most people aren't trying to buy a home three weeks before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. And so what happens when all the home prices go up? Conventional loan limits also rise. Yes, they did. So, uh, yeah. Sheru, put up uh, that map for me, if you don't mind. Mine. I know you guys can't read this, but you'll 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 see. That's dollars. why we're putting it up anyway. <laughs> you'll still get an idea of the different areas where the the values are or the limits have gone up quite a bit. So, 
the gray areas there, the loan limits for conventional loans have gone up to six hundred and forty seven thousand two hundred dollars. And this is for for junk before you before you get into the world, right? Yes. Yeah. But those are conventional loan limits before mm -hmm. you have to uh, get into jumbo. Right. But uh, the, the yellow, and I know it's, uh, it's kind of hard to see the different uh, yellows, but the yellow, yellow, <laughs> the light yellow, the highlighter yellow. Yes. Is six forty six forty seven and the seven hundred. The next, the next kind of orangey yellow, golden rod. is <laughs> seven oh one to nine seventy, and then. Um, you can see Alaska and Hawaii yeah. <laughs> Those are, and Orange. parts of uh, New California. York and Connecticut. And then that whole, whole DC market where all the politicians live. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then That's some, funny. some places out there in the mountains, uh, Wyoming. Yeah. Uh, anyway, 790, I'm sorry, 970 up to uh, uh, beyond eight. 800, wait, 970, 70, 100. Anyway, it's higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 970. So 000. I'm assuming you can take <laughs> that down now. Thanks. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, I, I'm assuming that uh, FHA will raise their, their limits soon enough. But again, it's a government agency and they take a little bit longer to do it. But. Yeah, well, they're coming down the pike. Brian Maddox, uh, who can't be with us today? He usually uh, yeah, is we'll watching. Him. We'll have him on maybe next week. Yeah, yeah. He's he's he was telling us about this about three three or four weeks ago on our Sunrisers call. How you know amazing it is that um, those limits have changed have changed <coughs> significantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, they had to keep up because house prices were going through the roof. Yeah. too, too quickly. Yeah. Well, same last decade, they've gone up 150 percent, 154. But yeah, you know. that's crazy. Well, the loan limits in some cases have gone up 100, 100 thousand dollars. So mm -hmm. I mean, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a big jump. Mm -hmm. Okay, so enough with breaking news.